Hi, my name's Fran Marshall and you're watching Sport and Icons. Now, I've said this many, many times, I like John Fury. I like his character, I like how he speaks, I like how he speaks his mind. It's not for everybody. I know some people don't like him. They don't like some of his past discrepancies, should we call them, and whatever else. For me, I like him. Okay, I really do. And if I could interview him, I would absolutely love to. But unfortunately, that's probably never going to happen. But when it comes to John Fury, he's always going to speak his mind. Whether you agree with him or whether you don't, he's going to give his opinion. And he's not going to say things to appease other people. Even this this whole case with Tyson and Anthony Joshua. He could take the easy route and go, no, Tyson, he's absolutely correct. There's nothing in the world he could do, yada, yada, yada. But no, he's going to give his opinion. Irrespective of whether or not Tyson likes it or not, he's going to give his opinion and say, this whole thing was a con job. The whole thing was a con job. And he has to respect John for that. He's his own man. He's his own person. Now, I've been sent quite a few clips up and down Twitter and Instagram. So thank you um, very much to a lot of you. Quite clearly you sent them to me because you wanted to do a video, which is John Fury. He's done an interview with, I believe it was Boxing Social. I haven't seen clips, I haven't seen all the interview. I don't really watch Boxing Social. But when it comes to this particular one that I've seen, which um, a few of you have sent me, is John Fury's going in on Deontay Wilder. Oh, this whole allegation thing. Now Tyson, he's currently here in the UK after the whole C-19 situation, is it true, is it not? I mean, I don't know, no idea, I suspect not. But John is saying to Deontay Wilder, with all these allegations of him accusing Tyson of glove tampering, we're, we're talking weights in the gloves. We're talking how somehow Tyson Fury put his finger through his glove and scratched the inside of Deontay Wilder's ear. These are the things that Deontay Wilder have actually said, along with, the crab in the bucket referee, whatever it is that he called him, who was um, potentially drunk, the Nevada State Athletic Commission, the costume, Mark Breeden spike in his water, he threw in the towel at the behest of Durrell, and all these kind of stupid things. Not one of them is real. We know they're not, they're all in his head. But he can say these kind of things. As I've said for the past few years now, Wilder can say anything. And he's got such a, and it is a small fan base, let's be honest, but they're big enough to create a narrative online. As in, that they will send out the zombies, the sheep, to troll people's comment section here on YouTube, on Instagram, on Twitter, I'm presuming on Facebook and all that kind of thing. I don't have Facebook and that, but they will do it around the internet. They're like locusts. Wilder can say anything and they will run with it. Wilder, he can say how Tyson Fury roundhouse kicked him in round number three at two minutes, 59 seconds at the end of round number three. And his fans will go, yeah, that happened even though you can't see it. Wilder knows this. He knows that he's got them in the palm of his hands because these people are incapable of thinking for themselves. Look at the uploaders, tell me I'm lying. It's why, why I haven't watched any of those in probably two years now. So John Fury, he's saying to Wilder, you need to be proving this now. All these allegations, especially towards Tyson, the glove tampering, you need to prove it. If you don't prove it, by the latest, the next press conference, you ain't getting the third fight. I'm in charge now, you are gonna prove it. If you don't, we're going to court. We take you to court, the fight can't happen. I said this before, didn't I? That if Tyson had just sued Deontay Wilder for defamation of character or whatever kind of, of uh, law term you wanna use, they can't fight. When there's a legal proceeding between them, you can't fight. You're not, you're not allowed to. This is why Donald Brazil and Deontay Wilder, why they didn't fight for quite some time until they had an agreement at the end, which enabled them to fight. Because Donald Brazil was taking Wilder to court. He was suing him for what happened in Alabama, where Wilder and a whole bunch of his goons set about him in front of his wife and his children. So, John Fury, big up. He will say these things, and I believe that he will do it as well. I don't see John Fury as a liar. I don't see John Fury as anything like that. If he says, Wilder, you need to prove it now, I've had enough. He's got nothing to do with Tyson. Now Tyson's a fighter, I'm in charge now. And for him to say that would mean that Tyson has given him permission to do so. Okay, cool, you take over. And that's always going to be the case. Tyson, much like most of us, if our um, dad says something, if you don't really necessarily agree with it, you'll go, okay, cool, out of respect. You're my dad, I'll listen to you. 
And if Tarzan's ever going to be afraid of any man on the planet, it's going to be his dad. Not physically or anything like that. No, no, no not at all. But John, I mean, he comes across as a pretty intimidating person. Okay, I'm sure Tarzan was intimidated at times growing up by John. But in reality, of course not. I mean, Tarzan's much bigger and stronger and all that kind of stuff. But it's his father. John says something, Tyson Fury does. John says jump, Tyson Fury jumps. John says, go, go swim that little river over there. Tyson Fury's going to go swim that little river over there. That's how it's going to be. So when John Fury says, we're going to take you to court, believe it. He's going to take you to court. So Wilder, young man, you are now in a position where you've said all this rhetoric now. Now it's time to prove it. You need to prove it. There is no footage out there, contrary to what people will say and try and pull up and fabricate and Photoshop and anything else and speculate about Ricky Hatton pulling the glove up, even though it's the first fight, people still confused between the first fight and the second fight. All these kind of things. Time to prove it. Because John Fury's had enough. He's had enough now. Time to prove it. If you can't prove it, we're going to take you to court. And then you're going to have to prove it. If you can't prove it, we're going to get conversation out of you. And you ain't getting that third fight. So Wilder, I suggest you do something about it. All these lies, all these accusations, insulting Tyson, the gloves, the cheating, even calling him a cheat because of his um, uh, traveller race and whatever you want to call it, but they're natural cheats and all these, all these things, all these derogatory things that you've said about Tyson, you ain't going to get away with it now. Now you're going to have to pay the Reaper. John Fury is that Reaper. And he ain't going to let it go. He ain't going to let it go. Looks like the Fury Wilder 3 situation just took another turn, didn't it? Drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up. Subscribe. Catch you on the next video.